TV Empire to director, we have a player review. Can we rock and roll please? Hello and welcome to Bits and Pieces episode number 129. India lost to New Zealand in the 2019 One Day World Cup semi-finals. They took their revenge in the 2023 One Day World Cup semi-finals. India lost the final of the 2023 One Day World Cup to Australia. They also lost the final of the WTC to the same team. In fact, some would say that they lost both those games to one man, Travis Head, who is now the answer to the Gen Z question. Hey Alexa, tell us how the generational trauma inflicted by Sanat Jayasurya fell to the millennials in the 90s. Well, India will feel they have got their revenge of sorts against Australia as well, all but knocking them out of the 2024 World Cup, T20 World Cup in the Super 8 stages. Uh, and we are recording this a few minutes after India have defeated Australia. We are hoping that Afghanistan will defeat Bangladesh in the early hours uh, tomorrow. And if they don't, then please ignore this section of the podcast, which is uh, <laughs> gloating about Australia being knocked out of the World Cup. <laughs> Revenge is any match you win after trauma inflicting defeat, is it? No, only in World Cup. Only oh, World okay. Cup knockout matches, which knock you out actually, of the World Cup. Actually, you know what Revenge is? Revenge is a dish best served cold. So it is leftover lesser <laughs> 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 Let me first introduce the wonderful panel that has joined us <laughs> to gloat about this great moment in Indian cricket history. We have two people who have joined wearing Indian team jerseys. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast after a long time. Murli Satakopan joining us from Portugal once again in a resplendent India blue jersey. How are you doing and how are you celebrating today? Uh, I am actually just recovering from the fact that this PTSD is nearly over. Uh, that, that There is a little bit of delayed gratification if Bangladesh truly help in knocking them out, I feel pretty good. But I think it was great. Given how vivid those November nightmares have been, it is not PTSD, it is actually PTHD or PT4K because <laughs> Travis Head has haunted all our nightmares for yeah, several Haunting months. your nightmares only, that is two negatives. <laughs> Tra- <laughs> Travis, Travis HD is HD. how we are seeing PTHD. our nightmares now. Oh. Also joining us in a bright blue India jersey, beaming away, uh, wide and happy is Choppy Choppernos. How are you, Chops? Uh, you went to a brew pub to enjoy this match. How was the Mahul at the brew pub where you watched this game? Brew dog. Yeah, good fun. Uh, <laughs> always fun to watch uh, uh, watch India win in a place like that. Back on the pod, great to be here. Also joining us is, of course, Tony Sebastian, who is not very happy today. As you can see, he is wearing New Zealand colours. Probably (laughs) to celebrate the, once again, the fact that New Zealand have been kicked out of this World Cup (laughs) early. But Tony is not happy because Sandhu Samson is not getting a game in this World Cup. And uh, hence, he is hoping that at least uh, Virat Kohli will have a good time. But that's also not happening. (laughs) Kohli was the only person to not contribute anything today with a five-ball duck and did not get any catches either. So, Tony, what did Jadeja do? (laughs) <laughs> what did Jadeja do? <laughs> he coached <laughs> Afghanistan in the One Day World Cup. Okay. <laughs> so tell us, tell us, Tony. Um, you uh, messaged on the group some time back that this was a useless match and that you were not enjoying it. Please tell us more. Yeah. After Rohit Sharma went ballistic, at no point did uh, I didn't follow the stats, but it didn't look like Australia would win at any point in time. Always looked like India would win, and they did. That's all. But uh, please tell me, when was the last time Rohit Sharma scored any runs against a decent team exactly. in limited overs cricket? You are acting like this is something that happens every week and <laughs> I am not understanding. Who expected Rohit Sharma to go big today, guys? Last time he teed off was in that World Cup final, no? And then Travis Head basically took that crazy catch and Blinding went, for catch, went downhill yeah. from there. <laughs> so, he this match awful. was at uh, St. Lucia, right? And... Uh, when, and seeing Rohit Sharma these days, when he's playing matches for India, you can see the big toppai. He seems to be... <laughs> and it's like he's lining up for those... What are, what are those fav- famous snacks that you get in West Indies? They call them doubles or something, right? Where it's yeah, like doubles. Uh, doubles. Pav with uh, channa. Yeah. In St. Lucia, I think Rohit was also looking for pav and roti because Luciano, pav and roti. <laughs> 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 Oh, mm-hmm. Change the list. tenor of the podcast, Ra. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, like I said, India got their revenge against New Zealand and then they got their revenge supposedly against Australia. Now they have their chance to get their revenge against England because 
England knocked oh. India out of the 2022 T20 World Cup in the semi-finals, and it's a rematch. Mm. Any of you are having PTSD about that match, which uh, you know, memorably yeah. India got smashed by 10 wickets with Alex Hayes so and uh, Josh That's Cutler. That's a proper thrashing. I I was trying to say that it's pretty much all PTSD even now for me. Like I know India won the game today. But if India says England, and uh, considering England is suddenly like whatever coming back to form or whatever, somebody like Phil Salt, same like Alex Hales will never play again, will come and to act uh, some 75 or 30 and then knock us out. Which I still have a lot of leftover PTSD left. Like I want to wait until we get to the final and actually win it before I celebrate anything. Like today was not one of those days I celebrated at all. If India end up winning uh, the semi final itself, it's going to be a bit of a surprise. Uh, given we've not really played our A game so far. Chops <laughs> is responding like Rohit Sharma and Presser, man. I mean Rohit Sharma doing pressers. Chops are talking exactly like him. So, Harsha Bogle comes in us. Uh, it looked like, you know, you had to go through the offside. You know, everyone thought you'd be hitting through the leg set. And Rohit Sharma like, I mean, look. <laughs> I mean, look. Stop asking me idiotic questions. Yeah, I mean, bowlers also know. Wind is there, so they were also bowling on the offside. So obviously, I had to open the offside, and I have to score there. It's obvious. I have to, I have to do those things in international cricket. That's what Chops was answering. That's what we need. Reminded me of yeah. one Kadu's Marathi uncle whose wife has just won the tambola and deserves yeah. no yeah. credit for it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like anyway, it was round thickly. I had to put. They announced the numbers. Why are you asking me for the interview? <laughs> it was that level only. <laughs> I came here to eat. The dal is getting cold. <laughs> I wore a tie. They gave me samosa. Samosa. <laughs> <laughs> Man. This was India's first proper match in this tournament, guys. They have only been playing weak teams, and I don't think we are being uncharitable by calling Pakistan a weak team. But I thought you would call USA a weak team. I am including USA in that because USA is still Division Three or something. No, obviously they are weak, regardless of the fact that they are beating other teams. Look at the way this <laughs> tournament has been structured, man. India, they literally gave India tough games after they have already qualified, Wait, hopefully. Are you saying BCC scheduled this? Who are you saying scheduled it? <laughs> <laughs> Prime Minister of St. Lucia, man. Who would have had a BCC only runs cricket? No. Let's, let's talk about this. Why was India versus Australia on a Monday evening when this Sunday part, was open? This is like a proper conundrum, man. Because mm. the whole reason they did that thing we spoke about two weeks back, which is that A1 plays yeah. B2, B1 plays A2. Yeah. Yeah. The whole reason to do that was to make sure the the big teams playing each other can become like, you know, Correct. the marquee fixtures. But yeah. they play India versus Australia, Monday and morning Monday local morning. time, <laughs> Monday night India time, Monday yeah. sleeping time, Hank Standard, <laughs> Melbourne time. Oh, it is not a good time for anybody <laughs> to watch this match. <laughs> And it is also kind of quasi-dead rubber. It should have actually been a dead rubber. Just that Afghanistan sprang oh, yeah, surprise correct. by beating yeah, Australia. I don't know why they did this. This I thought correct. this should have been the match they really put their, uh, you know. And it wasn't a full ground also, right? Like, this was one of the India games that did not have a full uh, it sellout. Was empty. But uh, the yeah. night games or the local time night games have been very well attended, which we spoke about in the previous uh, podcast as well. As per India time, uh, the match that happened today morning, South Africa, West Indies. Yeah. Full Mahol. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And suddenly it's pouring like gale force rains are falling. People have all opened their umbrella. Poppy Koda. <laughs> They're like protecting themselves in the stadium. <laughs> there is no sunshade, nothing. People are immediately mm. sitting with umbrella and they're checking reels. And one hour later, the game resumes. Yeah, that was another good game. I don't think it was a scheduling thing because at the end of the day, they had to schedule the West Indies game on Sunday, right? They are hosting and all. Even if India is a superpower, I thought they had to get like a one Sunday evening game or Saturday evening game. And that Sunday evening game was the West Indies game, rightfully speaking. So, I think that's why they got the Sunday game. They couldn't have put the India game there also. It's not an India tournament. It's an ICC tournament only. No, put Sunday morning. So, in. India, Australia can play on Saturday, no? Sun- Saturday also or we Sunday can morning, play. which is Sunday night IST. Uh, Sunday morning, perfect for Australian viewers yeah, to watch. Australia Think also. about it. Then India loses Dear to the knockout. Ra. At that point of time, they can't take those risks. They want all the results in hand. They want only one match left so that they can play a careful no. game. No, then India will have net run rate opportunity against yeah. Bangladesh. What are you saying? 
That is the perfect thing. No, then that match will get TRP on a Monday. You are like Correctly, missing the whole point. Correctly, England only escaped because they got USA <clears throat> to thulp and uh, sneak ahead. What the fuck is oh. Jadeja doing, man? <laughs> yeah. What a World Cup he's having. Like, I know Kohli is also having a bad one. But Jadeja, man, like... I don't know how he hit that six, but can't put bat to ball. Otherwise, <laughs> bowling is firstly full. Firstly, I think Kohli's run is an is a freak thing. I think he's going to kill it in the semis or the finals. Yeah. Like it oh. is coming. It is not like he's out of form or anything. Today, yeah, he got a good ball, got out. But he's been playing well only. He's just been. Do you know what is the, the USP bus. of this podcast? <laughs> the fact that we don't make much sense. The one thing that we are known for. What? <laughs> BNP Jinx. They BNP Jinx, Jinx ra. <laughs> One poor fellow. No. Gautam no. Gambhir has given me deadline also to win something. I was want to understand why why is there a random Zimbabwe squad being announced? Why is Shubman uh-huh. Gill the captain after he was unceremoniously sent back to India saying you don't even deserve a Saint I Lucia he, visa, you loser. I think he followed Gautam Gambhir on Instagram. This is the only explanation. India is trying to, I think, fix the gap of India A1 team. They are, India A means they are too short. India main team, they can't go to Zimbabwe and all. So, they are putting an A1 team in the middle. They reject from the India team who don't want to play for India A. It's like that middle point. That's what this team this is. is. This is like some cow milk fund, A1 jersey cow and all he's talking about. Yeah. Something like that. They are basically the people who never get to play India, who don't want to play India. Eh? They are like, okay, come play Zimbabwe. That's all. Sanju there... Samson is going to finish his career today. I don't know Tony view, sir. There was one tweet. Sanju Samson's first boundary in international cricket. It was against Zimbabwe in some random match. Somebody put that tweet. It's a 30 second video. It's a leading edge that goes to third man for four. <laughs> Official photographer for West Indies tourism, Ra. Poor fellow. He he's going to become the. Tourism. He's going to finish his career <laughs> as a oddity, a quiz question. Name the player with maximum percentage of matches against a single team. He would have played ninety-five percentage of his matches against Zimbabwe. <laughs> the many five percent against Ireland. Every year he'll go to Malahid <laughs> and then he'll come back. That is Sanju Santan's <laughs> career. But the most interesting thing about uh, Gautam Gambhir's list of conditions, right? And uh, Gautam Gambhir is apparently going to be the next coach. And Once he has come again, up with a list of, all, of conditions. What yeah. happened to all of our applications? <laughs> Reject. You did not, you did not submit in triplicate. <laughs> Google page Docs, 16, so much trouble of filling. Page 16 needs to be left like blank you. intentionally. You did not do that. So you've been not performed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand. They said Gautam Gambhir is the only player, who, only person who only, has applied. Only like, applicant. So, huh. I don't know how they decided to summarily reject all the applications made by the honorable BNP panelists itself. We should uh, register our <laughs> protest with the BCCI. But huh. the list of conditions that Gautam Gambhir came up with, uh, one or two conditions Correct. like separate teams for three formats, I will pick my own coaching squad and all of that. But this condition mm. was the most interesting, right? The last chance for Kohli and Rohit Sharma is 2025 champions. 2025. Yeah. They, they themselves wanted to retire in 2024. <laughs> you wanted to play longer. They <laughs> like randomly extending their career. I thought they, were, they wanted to go after the one day World Cup only. So I think they said, okay, okay, one more we'll do with Ravid Bhai. Now he is randomly giving them, they're like, oh, they want us, man. Let's play one more year. Chalo, Jali. Set <laughs> Avara. But that uh, Champions Trophy is happening in Pakistan, no? As of now, at least. Finally, it's going to happen. Oh, this is the one Probably where. Uh, that chance. <laughs> This is the one where Vakar said uh, death is destiny. Anyway. Not it's Vakar, Ra. Jarad Mianda. Oh, <laughs> You're confusing. Vakar bowls death bowling. <laughs> Javed Mianda, death quotes. <laughs> <laughs> and death sixes, da. Death sixes. Sixes, yeah. I'm actually quite happy as a, you know, as a close-hit India fan. Mm. But India beating mm. Australia with uh, Kohli and Jadeja contributing nothing. And Rishabh Pant hmm. having a very, very strange day is uh, pretty good. And Rohit Sharma, like I said, after like seven years, he has scored some meaningful runs in limited overs cricket, which also is quite... Yeah. But this means uh, he's done for this tournament. I hope you guys realize that. Like Rohit Sharma <laughs> never does more than one. basically just uh, one free innings, right? Like, like head usually does against us. Like, no, head no has three free innings in three months only. So it's not one Three innings. once in a lifetime free innings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think anyone else batted with any amount of fluency. No, right? no. 
some sky why and all you're saying like nothing man two boundaries is it suddenly <laughs> like you're like please mata tony you, i hope you realize bcci is not listening to this podcast wondering whether maybe you know these experts will tell us what i went away bye come back <laughs> <laughs> ah so tony i know you very often make these you know big proclamations about typically it's about uh, sky about dubey it's about rishabh pant sometimes it's about people who sanju samson potentially can replace but you know i know you're hoping that bcci is listening to this podcast wondering oh maybe these experts will tell us who we should be selecting but i i'll assure you i don't think anybody oh, any of that kind is happening nobody yeah, no, no. also Even if it is happening i'm sure they're not taking you seriously because you've said a lot of witty thanams also witty thanams on this podcast <laughs> sanju has himself given up hope ra what is there like it's okay this is the problem with uh, dravid squads no he never changes the 11 including the 2023 world cup shami played entirely by accident because hardik pandya got injured can you imagine but they actually shami... changed the squad in this one because kuldeep has come in for uh, siraj <laughs> yeah this was the <laughs> plan the master plan who will play <laughs> rohit sharma said i will tell after we go to uh, he didn't say west indies anyway. after we go to the world cup because he was going to change it in west indies not in us which brings That us to chops right. point right like what has jadeja done dubey has been whatever random gube It's been like a very very lackluster World Cup. Dubey has been, du- yeah, Dubey. Being off, yeah, being off, you tell me. Taking ten balls each time. <laughs> I, I mean, taking off any Correct. of the CSK. But that is T20, no? Yeah, yeah. So that's all they expect him to do. That's, I, I was surprised every time they got back into the got him into the eleven. It looks like they want him to play those eight ten balls, tee off a couple of times that clears the ground is worth it. Not worth it for them, for them to just keep him in. Jadeja surprises me simply because Kuldeep has been outstanding to me today. He was that 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 game changer for me. That those four over spells with him and Axar in the middle, because I know Tony started the pod by saying that uh, I think at no point Austria looked threatening. To me, Austria looked immensely threatening in the first ten overs. Like I was like, this is surely they are walking away with it yeah. because unlike anybody else, they were able to constantly get ten per over. They were they were striking it beautifully and Marsh and Head were going at it hard. And at that point of time, two <laughs> crazy Correct. things happened. One was an outrageous Kuldeep over for one run or something like that at a massive stage. The second was that Axar catch literally plucked the ball out of nowhere. I think those two changes, and then Kuldeep coming back to take Maxwell out completely with that beautiful, you know, slower one. I think those were the three things that changed the game, shifted it towards us. After which, I think we were completely crushing them. But until that point, it kind of felt like they were walking away yeah. because the pitch was not so difficult to bat on. It wasn't like massive movement either, and uh, yeah, that's that's what, those were my feelings. And in all of these things, again, Jadeja was nowhere. He's actually not even fielding well this time. This is so rare. He's dropping catches. Drop the catch. He's, yeah, he's not his usual self. He's he's not got the you know, uh, he's got a little bit of fire very when he's in fielding in certain spots. You will know there's an energy around that area. that's also not there is not his old self at all so i don't know what is getting him into the squad each time but i also don't know who can replace him because i don't think we need siraj i think they like having the depth in the batting lineup right that is why everybody is also happy to attack which even after rohit got out right you still had seven or eight overs and you had like lots of batting left which Wait, is usually India not the case india is the only undefeated team in the world cup so far right south, south africa. africa south africa have not lost a single game India have had one washout. South Africa have won everything. They have not had a washout also. So actually, they are the South- and they almost got knocked out. <laughs> they South would have lost and been knocked out. <laughs> Yesterday, South After Africa won this weird team. stage where they had to yeah. finish the tournament unbeaten, which has never been done in a World Cup for them to win the World Cup. Correct. You remember uh, there was a scenario in which if uh, Australia had lost to Scotland, England would have been knocked out, and uh, yeah. that match I think started weirdly with. Was it Agar who opened the bowling or something like that? Yeah. And then Australia dropping a truckload of catches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it the was same a tough thing game, happened but... against Afghanistan, where they dropped some ten catches or something like that, right? Yeah, they yeah. dropped. Same thing. I mean, what is happening? Like there is some weird uh, catching and fielding uh, thing happening um, in this World Cup. People have been talking about this, uh, but kind of hush hush. It is very strange that the entire Super Eights is happening in one week, and it's happening in multiple islands. And yeah. teams are playing games with one and a half days break, guys, in different islands. Yeah. Getting into a flight with literally 36 hours between games. 
think about australia right uh, i yeah. feel like australia just lost to afghanistan like yesterday because they did yeah they did and they are already playing money. another game in a different island uh, it's Correct. definitely yeah. jet lag is forget jet lag but there's fatigue that comes into the picture there's a different ground you've never been to before and there's a windy slightly strange conditions uh, i think some teams have really got the bad rub of the green in this regard england have been playing like crazy man one and a half days multiple times now they've had uh, games coming back to back and frankly teams have not complained much i think sri lanka complained about it it was really bad what happened to them early in the tournament but some of the other teams have had a very bad run in this yeah. regard i mean it's nice to have a tournament where everything is happening fast but in in this geography it's a little strange i would so say so we are basically saying india organized the best yeah. world cup in the last two years <laughs> no what we're saying is this world cup has also been organized beautifully for india if you notice they have had the least disruption in terms of travel they have actually had the freshest legs the schedule has suited them a lot more than it has suited any other team so dude my time 4:30 the match starts man like come on and the thing is on weekdays i actually wake up at 5:40 which is good but the good some couple of the good games have happened on weekends when i actually try and sleep right and then i wake up at 7:30 they like oh do you know afghanistan only need one more wicket i'm like what afghanistan need one wicket to beat australia i was sure nothing will happen in this match and i slept through it i woke up for two west indies matches right which and i was really pumping for west indies i woke up today to watch west indies play south africa and a few days back i think the start of the super eights west indies was england, england. So that's both matches not... west indies got like completely screwed <laughs> and they were useless they didn't play like west indies only both those matches the match that they played well uh, which was against uh, new zealand yeah south they played a very good game against new zealand right after new losing zealand, early yeah. wickets correct correct yeah, yeah. that match i missed completely correct but uh, on that note guys uh, wonderful world cup is this the best t20 world cup since the last best t20 world cup I remember the last T20 World Cup was also fun with the Zimbabwe beating Pakistan, Netherlands beating South Africa. That was actually Africa. fun, man. That this was a lot of like, fun. This is like I don't know. I think uh, this I was amazing. I've grown. What really? What's wrong yeah, with this World Cup? This was a brilliant was World Cup. Pretty good. Nobody knows what to good. do. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, knows Asin like. Yeah. yeah. And which yeah. games have been? Which games have been competitive? Many. Many yeah. games Dude, have been. Man, you're talking about a World Cup which has had five. There have been five proper upsets in this World Cup, out of like fifteen <laughs> games. Forget that. USA beat Pakistan. Huh? USA beat pa- okay. Canada beat Ireland. Hey, don't uh, talk about Australia. Afghanistan, Afghanistan beat Australia. To set the benchmarks, Nepal nearly beat Nepal South Africa. Nepal almost beat South Africa. Nepal really beat nearly beat yeah, South Africa. Yeah, I don't know what. To me, uh, that was the that was the best that's game. That's the one. Uh, yeah, of the tournament for me. Pakistan almost beat India. <laughs> Okay, best World Cup. Yeah. Dude, yeah. tell me some been crazy good. moments from this World Cup that you remember, please. Dude, I have three moments of of just Aiden Makram, dude. Huh. Aiden Makram taking <laughs> killer catches. You saw only one match. Oh, no, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> three moments from that. No, no, in two different matches. Dude, Makram taking catches. <laughs> that catch he took. Wait, who was the player who tried to throw the offside and got caught? Him running back. Was that against yeah, the Indies? Nah. No, that was not against the Indies. West Indies, England, right? No, I'm talking about England. England, South Africa was a fantastic match. I saw it fully, ball by ball. Where uh, Khahiso Rabada started bowling full tosses, and uh, the commentators. Oh, yeah. Ross Islet. That was a really good game because also because you could see South Africa had very clear tactics, right? They had England on the ropes. Amazing. And then it yeah. was going into the death overs, and there were two overs where they suddenly started going for yorkers. And uh, first you had Batman missing all his yorkers, and he, I think bowled six continuous full tosses. and he got smashed by livingston or whoever that other player was i think livingston only. and then <laughs> rabada <laughs> came on and rabada bowled to full tosses back to back and the second full toss ended up getting a lucky wicket and nasser hussain was on air saying why are they going for yorkers and the commentary also strangely was good for a while because he was not like ah they're bowling full tosses he was like i can see they're trying to bowl yorkers and they're missing them and they're ending up as full tosses And his question was: In these pitches, why are they even trying to bowl yorkers? They should be digging it into the pitch. After which, not because they were listening to him, but South Africa actually pulled the length back. And the last three overs were bowled by Nokia, Rabada, and uh, Marco Janssen, who bowled all three were brilliant overs. And they completely tied down England. And in that last over, I don't know who the batsman was again. Their last recognised batsman was there, and they had to hit boundaries. 
and sam karan not so sam karan the right hand batsman i think it was livingston only i don't i don't remember whom but chris uh, jordan makram set the field uh, and he was forcing yes. this guy to hit with the wind but over the offside yeah. and he set the field yes. deep on the leg side makram himself was at oh, mid off yeah. harry brook harry, harry brook correct harry, harry brook was the batsman makram himself was at mid off ran back and took a fantastic right. catch and it was the right shot that he played it was a perfect ball that nokia bowled because that was the only ball that is literally the ball he had to bowl and he had this guy had to play the shot he had to go over the offside i i think these are the sort of things that have happened in this world cup like during the ipl right every match you know it's 80 to win or 6 overs the team will get it if they don't get it it'll be because there are two miss hits not because you know the bowlers did something smart or something it was not like cricketing skills were making Correct. the results go this way or that True. in this one the margins have been so limited bowlers have actually had a big say on how the matches turn out and this wind has come in yeah. there's a conditions are unpredictable teams are traveling all the time they don't know exactly they haven't adapted on the fly and there have been like really really thin wafer thin margins and small things have made big difference yeah. so in that sense what is the difference between world ipl world and this world cup i'll tell you a massive yeah. difference zero zero <laughs> centuries have been scored and i don't think any will be scored either it's a crazy stat yeah, yeah, yeah there aren't any no hundreds are, I, i don't think it's possible also like today of course rohit sharma looked like he definitely may get it so did nicholas puran earlier yeah. but they feel like at yeah. the time where they're able to tee off they are better off trying to tee off and get a few more runs exactly. than try and like play a few singles to get that it's so hard to play like you're saying it's so hard you can't predict anything yeah. and you we know how we felt at 120 odd with pakistan or 110 odd with south africa where we were like over oh, screwed to win so comfortably knows that 120 is a competitive score which they stopped about much later yeah they wouldn't have known that but if it was really i think that there was a lot of competition in terms of being able to set teams even and if to talk about three moments for me definitely h1b saurabh netravalkar is definitely right up there for me it's, a, it's an amazing moment i'll definitely remember uh, nepal's run out for me yeah. I, i will never forget that that was really heartbreaking for me to see live <laughs> that was really tough like i was i was a little emotionally upset that this could have happened that there was a possibility this could have happened despite it you know being to south africa which is sad it would have been amazing and the third is again south africa moment kagiz or abada's cover drive bloody what the world net the entire buildings are falling yeah. around them he plays one crunch max cover drive and walks off like okay i am done with this now we can win this match so amazing moments it had there were more but i remember these three yeah and typical t20 right so before those last three balls of west indies versus south africa i actually thought uh, west indies could win that game right? because they had sprung mm-hmm. in a series of dot balls and south africa were feeling the pressure like it's very easy to put south africa under pressure in a do or die chase game. and rotten chase <laughs> rotten chase <laughs> and then nicolas puran misses a ball and they end up conceding two byes and then rabada hits that four ends the over they suddenly need six only to win of the or five to win of the last over Five. and then yansen hits that six and finishes the game right and that's the thing in t20 in three balls you go from being favorites to win a game to you actually lose the game and you're out of the tournament right it's perfect in that sense yeah. different <laughs> i was saying is the ipl has no us yes. this world cup has nows and no us and no <laughs> also goes there's a player called goes <laughs> Why did we wait it for chops to record? Right? I don't understand. Fellow was sitting in the corner, not saying anything. Tambola master, fucker. Waste of space. Might as well have brought Jadeja onto the court. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been a middling World Cup for me. I don't know. I mean, uh, all that stuff about uh, bowlers being in the mix, etc., is is fine. But uh, I mean, I don't think any of the teams have been have been at their like real best. Like we haven't seen any amazing cricket. Like no bowler has done, you know, brilliant bowling or. Uh, no are you blind or really. is uh, do, are you Bumra blind? Like color blind is Bumra blind. Bumra is the one. Bumra and yeah, Cummins. No, no other perform. bowler. Zampa Rashid Prabhu, Khan. But, Kuldeep Yadav, Rashid Khan. What did Rashid Khan do? What did Rashid Khan do? Da? You didn't see the match he against got, India, uh, where he got like four or three or how many over wickets he got? Day. Yeah, that's one of the matches. Chris fine, Jordan, I mean, Gulbadi Naib. Oh come on, Chris Gulbudin. Jordan. Shit gets wickets. Um, Josh Star, Hazelwood today. Josh Hazelwood today. Oh, yeah, Josh Hazelwood was today. Was fantastic. Yeah. True. Yeah, that's And what I'm trying to say. I mean. 
it's not it's not the kind of world cup where you've had individual amazing performances it's it's just been the kind of world cup where no team really knows what is to be done and they've kind of mm. figured it out on the go on the ground on that day they haven't been able to predict good par scores etc and it's not been a game of skill as you're putting it i think it's just been a game of who's been able to you know do what on that day and that's that's that I... dude but uh, sorry uh, chops did you see the moment of the world cup for me was uh, travis head coming into bat against afghanistan and navin ulhak oh. snatching the ball from rashid khan saying i'm going to get him out what a ball first ball out swinger misses <laughs> second ball proper oh my god God. Apparently, head has got like some three or four ducks against Afghanistan, Metric. man. Can we get Naveen Ulhak to India? The best part is, in Indian team has not selected KL Rahul. The match is not between India. <laughs> and basically, what happens is this guy gets a bold, and Nicholas Puran basically puts out an Instagram story saying, "I remember you said you would get Travis Head if you were given the ball against him." And KL oh, Rahul wow. did. Poor, poor KL oh, man. Yeah. But wait, did that actually yeah, happen? Never... Did, did it, I mean, was he not yeah. given the ball when Travis... Did Travis had hit uh, oh, Lucknow for runs? I think... Probably did. This was that even was Travis had never known. Where they <laughs> chased down, I think, uh, what, 130 odd in 10 overs or something. Oh, that match. Oh. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Abhishek. Abhishek, Abhishek Sharma. Yeah. Hmm. Correct. And then that... Uh, but Naveen Ullak apparently always had his plan and he executed it, man. Like, Correct. What a, what a plan. What a ball that was. Oh, so today, uh, for my son's involvement, uh, th- this World Cup is special for me also because my son has really taken a shine to cricket during this World Cup. I was actually explaining him, uh, explaining to him today how the ball swings for the first time. And... Uh, <laughs> how, da? how does it swing? <laughs> With him, I can say whatever else. Swing! swing. <laughs> 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 Naveen Ullak to Travis Head is like the perfect ball you can show a child to see how the seam needs to be placed to get it to swing. And because, what a ball. I mean, I, but Travis Head also is a magnet for some of these balls. Like, except when India are bowling, it doesn't hit the stumps. But when other teams bowl, he sometimes gets out in the most spectacular ways possible. All the time. <laughs> You're talking about <laughs> Mitchell Stark getting yes. Travis Head himself, da, I think. Mitchell Stark. Stark. In the IPL, IPL, IPL. Ra. Oh, IPL, IPL. Correct, correct, correct. IPL final happened, yes. And then they went back to BBL. You should audition for Gajini too. Sheffield yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Sheffield Shield. You should audition for it. You have this mem- memory problem. Too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I have Mitchell Stark tattoo. I have Travis Head tattoo. <laughs> he is a walking hey, wicket when the ball swings. This? Yeah, da, as if Boomra doesn't thing. swing the ball. As a but you have to understand, Bumra didn't hit the stumps. When Travis had missed all the balls, it goes went and uh, went to the keeper. Uh, if he had at least one time gotten on the, onto the stumps, I think there was a chance. The ball didn't nick and then he finished us off. What he was, was hitting it, no. When it was <laughs> on the stumps, he was hitting it that day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we are burying the trauma today. So please, please do not. Remember the whole thing. Hmm. The actual revenge was Afghanistan beating Australia, man. After Amazing, that match at the Wanka Day. And uh, yeah. yeah, Maxwell is Afghanistan's head, basically. Again, he went and yeah. scored a lot of runs. But uh, and got out of an. How many amazing catches did Afghanistan hold that day? Like, yeah. Crazy. Outstanding. Yeah, but Chops is not it's impressed. Too good. Yeah. <laughs> Boring World Cup for him. Oh. Dude, no, I think it's the time zone uh, that is screwing everything up, right? Like it's like Probably. some matches are in the morning, some matches are in the evening. So no, you're not getting the rhythm. Mahul nahi. Circadian rhythms are being uh, Mahul nahi. affected. <laughs> yeah, it is going anti-clockwise, sir. That is the problem. We have not acclimatized <laughs> to the time zone. What went wrong with Australia? Remember, Chops, I think you were on that part, no? Where Hank was talking about India's problem is they carry Rohit Sharma and all of these guys. <laughs> Australia has left behind Steve Smith. My God. Some, some, Hank's, something cannot use that, that episode where Hank uh, put out his predictions is going to go down in like Hall of Fame or something. People will like listen to it 20 years later after India has like probably won this World Cup and they'll... Yeah, there is this Twitter trick of people making dummy accounts and making all sorts of predictions and deleting the wrong ones and then just retweeting the right one after the fact, right? 
people will think oh. we've recorded all possible versions of the podcast and deleted all the correct ones to leave <laughs> <have> hang <laughs> saying the wrong words then hang put his name on the line and said afghanistan will make the semis they just have to beat bangladesh tomorrow today and they are in the semis yeah. he said afghanistan yeah, west indies in the final he said so much that one thing has come right like <laughs> the beginning of the ipl please 7000 like <laughs> 8 million hazard things garbage was sent varun murli sir rcb will make it to the playoffs like 8 billion people laughed at that exactly. line and in the end he came out and said what an intelligent thing to say they like this you can also say thousand things and one thing will come off the tattiest thing will come off me to become oh. great at this sir no da it's not some nasa damas at all he only said three stupid things right out of which two things potentially are going to come true <laughs> For me, the anyway. funniest thing Hank said is that hey. problem with Hank is for one month he's been complaining about the India squad. I think Hank has an orgasm when the squad no, gets announced. Man. For him, cricket is not about watching cricket; it's about discussing the squad. That's it. For one week before the squad is announced, and for three months after the squad is announced, tournament is over, everything's over. Even now, he's like the 2013 champion trophy. We should not have taken Dinesh Karthik. Even now, he's complaining. I'm like, how many can you? Even he doesn't remember he went through 2013 champion trophy. Hank is complaining. He's a squad guy, right? So for me, that is the funny part. He only cares about squad. This team, you cannot. They have to play. There are only 12 people in the squad, but only 10 can play. They have reduced the squad size by two. You have to play Hardik every match. Hardik will inevitably get injured. You have to play Akshar every match and Jadeja every match. You can't play Siraj every match. You can't play Chahal every match. It's very bad. There's somebody is playing. No, let them play. A... What is that? <laughs> He had a major problem with Akshar. He's like Akshar will never play. Akshar will play every match. <laughs> Today he plucked out Hank's balls from the air. <laughs> Next also. week we can get Hank on the pod to discuss the Zimbabwe squad. When <laughs> <laughs> Afghanistan win the World Cup, Hank will be alone shouting. <laughs> Nobody, only Babu will come for conversation. With him. It is happening. Next Saturday, forty-eight uh, teams should have been defeated by that fellow Mohammad Nabi by then. The <laughs> only teams they have not defeated are South Africa and India, by the way. Afghanistan have beaten England, all. They have beaten, huh? oh. they have beaten everyone. They only not beaten South Africa and India. Their next two victims are South Africa and India. You heard it here first. We deleted nice. from the pod quietly. If they don't win next week, <laughs> <laughs> can we edit podcast after publishing? So wait, once we are only editing after publishing. <laughs> once again, the best part is we've written Australia. Now they have a good shot at winning the World whole Cup. damn thing. Yes, I'm going to put. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Tambola master chops on the spot please tell us who is going to win england or india in the semi final i think final. india have a india have ah. a good chance jaldi five india ko mil jayega ha ah. tell us your top 3 uh, points about that match what are the key strategic inputs for india <laughs> to beat england <laughs> tell us tactical yeah, now it's, <laughs> it's going to be bnp jinx so kohli is going to do well jadeja is going to do well <laughs> रोहित शर्मा मुट्टा है रोहित शर्मा फर्स्ट बॉल डक रोहित इज डन रोहित इज डन लाइक दैट वर्ड डन दिस इज बीन द हाई पॉइंट ऑफ हिज टी20 करियर रोहित विल कम टू गंभीर एंड से 2025 तक मुड़िया दो आई एम नाउ ओनली स्टॉपिंग आई विल प्ले टेस्ट मैचेस यू प्लीज लीव मी टोनी टेल अस इंग्लैंड वर्सेस इंडिया वी हैव नॉट प्लेड एट द स्टेडियम बिफोर गया ना ओह अदरवाइज ओके या एंड साउथ साउंड साउथ नॉइस उधर इंडिया उधर इंडिया अब तक गया ना अब तक गया ना करेक्ट डिवाइन प्रोविडेंस विल कम टू इंडिया इफ इट रेन्स इंडिया आर थ्रू बिकॉज़ दे टॉप द ग्रुप इफ इंडिया बैट फर्स्ट नो चांस इफ इंडिया बोल्ड फर्स्ट आल्सो नो चांस या इंग्लैंड इज विनिंग ओके टफ मैच टफ मैच इंग्लैंड आर द वन टीम दैट आई डोंट वांट इंडिया टू फेस सो आई आई थिंक इंग्लैंड विल गो थ्रू Excellent. So England are playing the final against whom? Afghanistan, South Africa, or Australia? Murli, tell us. South Africa. Uh, I'm Tell-tell. actually backing that thing also. What what Tony says, which is South Africa have a higher chance of going through. They, despite yes being middling teams and a middling World Cup, uh, to me I feel like South Africa still have a pretty good chance because it looked like they could choke again, but somehow they came out of this. This this morning and they have landed up pulling off a win. I have I still back South Africa to get through. But in India England, uh, I want to give you a different perspective of what the English people think. So in that English county team that I'm with, those guys don't think England are good enough. They think the they have walked into uh, rampaging India and they are going to get completely like you know walked uh, walked over because um, India are a really really good side and everybody even uh, apart from the stars are performing. 
and uh, I think England have scraped through. Of course, they've had some close games and then somehow managed to find a way to get through. I have completely back India. I think if India lose to this England, India are pretty bad. It's This is not one of those tournaments where anybody can win on any day. I think India have been a pretty good side. England haven't been as good consistently. I, I back India to you know make their way through to the final. But For the record, in the last T20 World Cup in Australia, uh, England lost to Ireland or was it Scotland? They lost to one of they the did. two. They did. And then they Ireland. went on and uh, won the tournament. Was it an associate nation or not? <laughs> 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 yeah, so England not being good is they are very good at picking at the right time, right? That bloody Sam Curran and all coming and taking wickets towards the end. Need to you tell Ra, what is happening? Um, Virat Kohli and Rishabh Pant are going to smash England in the semi-final. Wow! South Africa. <laughs> Why are you def- saying it so seriously? I have to say it with get the Mata. Get the hashtag. Get. the editor. No, he's giving all predictions, putting only the right one in it. <laughs> this will be removed. <laughs> Strategy not revealed. <laughs> South Africa, in their lifetime, have won only one meaningful match against Australia, which was which also became meaningful because of the score in that match. 438 match. Right? Otherwise, nobody would be talking about that match also. In their lifetime, okay. they have not won anything meaningful against Australia. Australia have repeatedly gone and smashed them. 99 semi final. But why are you saying Australia will make yeah. it? I'm saying, I am okay, certain. I'll come, I'm to, I'll come to second scenario. That's, it's coming. It's uh, coming to that scenario. Up. So oh, if he's Aust- putting tree. Yeah. Uh, tree, tree, tree oh. correct, tree. So Australia beat them in 99. <laughs> Australia beat them in 2007. Australia beat them in 2023. If Australia comes, I'm sorry, South Africa will just do walkover and go back home. They'll take the late, earliest flight out and go back to Johannesburg, right? If Afghanistan make it, uh, like we I said in the previous episode, this entire World Cup has been South Africa clearing their throat, right? They've been like, we should not choke, we should not choke, we should not choke, we should not choke. <laughs> the choke will come. Like if you, it's like Murphy's Law, right? They're literally asking for it. And it always comes in the most unforeseen, un unfortunate unexpected circumstances this time it will be them losing to afghanistan in a game where nobody thought that they will they've crossed all the tough hurdles they've beaten england they've beaten west indies they've beaten you know somehow survived nepal also one all came here unbeaten all the way and then they'll banana slip will happen uh, i don't know they might beat afghanistan but i don't i think i don't see south africa going to the final it'll be great to have india and mm. afghanistan play the final games won't it Man, Afghanistan final would be a crazy yeah, thing. What it? about BCCA? Ah, the BCCA to already bowl the Barbados me Rohit Sharma ne World Cup jitna wali. Oh, oh, okay na. <laughs> Insert Jaisa <Desha> Jup <laughs> done. What thumbnail are we seeing? <laughs> Dude, does, do, you, do you guys know? If, I I don't know how to. I should go and ask on other groups if other people are seeing this. Like, or is this a yeah, thing? Yeah, this that is, is the forum, bra. Put it there. <laughs> Ask our BNP viewers. <laughs> There's a perfect question, by the way, for uh, reply all yes, yes, no. Or super yes, tech yes, support. Yes, no. <laughs> Dear listeners, do you have any WhatsApp okay, group where actually, you discuss random why don't nonsense like cricket? <laughs> yeah, you, you can message. <laughs> Set it up. Set it. Exactly. Put it. Something useful has to come out of this episode. Come on, Nithu. We are now entering the super tech support segment <laughs> of the Bits and Pieces podcast. <laughs> Mysterious break master cylinder. <laughs> okay. So, we have been facing a strange issue uh, on uh, our WhatsApp group, where sometimes when people share, you know, random links from Info or from Twitter or from Instagram or something, there is this one thumbnail that comes linked to it instead of the actual thumbnail that should be coming with that link. So but it doesn't happen when you are sharing, it happens when I am sharing. No, it happens when multiple people Usually are sharing. Usually you are the one seeing it. Multiple people are seeing it while multiple people are sharing oh, it. Okay. It's not just, it's not selective like that. So when some Many some of us problems. share certain links, let's say Rohit Sharma's uh, Crick Info report saying, you know, India defeated Australia today. Instead of the Rohit Sharma thumbnail, which is actually embedded in the article, there is an image of Jesha, which shows up. <laughs> we are not making this up, guys. There will be screenshots uh, provided in the video. Correct. It is the same thumbnail. It has been repeating for a while. And it has become a bug now, which some of us see on this group. Maybe we have created a, you know, a wormhole within <laughs> WhatsApp's <laughs> tech backend. <laughs> But this is a question to our listeners and viewers. Are any of you facing this issue yes. with Jaisha's image <laughs> appearing randomly <laughs> on links that you share? Do you know why it's happening? And tell us. Maybe maybe we have transmitted to you through this podcast. Who knows? Maybe it is us. <laughs> if so, we apologize. What thumbnail I 
share this podcast link with a friend and, and see what thumbnail 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 thumbnail. <laughs> yes like this is yeah. some divine intervention type of thing is happening Correct. i used to keep saying like yes. in bengal in villages you will see they will see a divine light and they'll say jay mata di we're saying jay sa it's very similar <laughs> we don't know how to get rid of it but it's like happening this, uh... <laughs> Uh, old crt monitors no if you leave things on for too long the ghost image will come oh. that only oh we are getting the ghost image that is true chops have you seen yeah. this happen uh, have you received an image uh, i've seen link? Uh, i've seen two of them actually one is the jaisha posing before a uh, like posing at an awards <laughs> night or something with some it's random text this. below there is that famous gif of yeah. uh, it's, it's basically a screenshot yeah, yeah. from that gif yes. <laughs> there is also <laughs> cat cat like animal no which is which is coming as a cat like animal <laughs> cow <laughs> you have none of you have seen it a1 cow <laughs> <laughs> what i don't know tell us chops and please tell us what is this this is just like any screenshot any link you share it will be either the jaisha thing or it will be a like a cat looking suspiciously at uh, at it... uh, nikto do you think this is how the neat exam leak happened <laughs> people are sharing some link randomly instead of correct them no no this is how the cat paper got it. leaked <laughs> random cat <laughs> <laughs> earlier i thought it was one of those Mo- modi propaganda type conspiracy right randomly message used to come like that whatever link he paid whatsapp to say whatever link people send you put jesa's image or something like that but the cat image <laughs> completely throws that logic out of the water <laughs> yeah it throws the cat out of the bath water <laughs> chabi come on Ch- Uh, how what many changes should how, india make to the 11 for the semi final <laughs> according to you if you were picking if you were gautam gambhir and if you were allowed to pick for the semis uh, i don't know what's happened in at that gayana stadium but i'm definitely tempted to bring in siraj played. instead of uh, jadeja <laughs> it's the ground where new zealand jadeja by the way hit the best the six of the day sorry afghanistan the best six of the it day was jadeja six by the way it was what, what about rohit sharma hit a cover drive uh, straight through the offside and you want to rate jadeja jadeja went to the wind that was in 20 that is not Ra, even rohit sharma's best cover drive against <laughs> pat cummins it is not even rohit sharma's best cover drive against pat cummins <laughs> what about what about the 100 meter 6 he hit of cummins only you know Stoinis. i don't know which one you talk tang 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 ravi shastri said it's chennai <laughs> did you hear that <laughs> Oh my god. What's the one the... on the roof. You're talking about the one that landed on yeah. the roof. Ha. Tang tang. That tang. is a fucking <laughs> topai slog. Yeah. It's a typical Rohit Sharma topai slog. What is good about that shot? For 100 meters. That is a shot or something. Hey. Ready it. Bacha, jade ji shot was with the wind ra. Hello. With the wind ra. Sorry what? Yeah, okay. So you want to drop jade ji. Okay, done. The tail will become longer. But uh... That's it. That's it. How many more Chops. changes you want? I don't know. Oh, that. So Tony will wait till you say Samsung has to play, of course. Yeah. Yeah. This is a Samsung bingo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Samsung Keep bingo. Keep the recording going. You want to stop the recording? Yeah. yeah. Tony, you tell us what are the changes you will make. No, no. I, I think they won't change the team, and it's fine. It's of okay. course, they won't change. I, the no, it is about the changes you want, Ra, not what they will do. <laughs> be the change you want. <laughs> Chandra Babu Naidu should be home minister. <laughs> <laughs> Predict the final, guys. Who is going to win the final of yeah. the World Cup? Because the next podcast will be recorded after the final. Oh wow! Yeah, I can't believe it's true, only no? been what three episodes and the bloody tournament is over, yar. Yeah. Don't even know who's playing the semi-finals yet, but yeah. In, in India, South Africa, South Africa win da. You heard, you heard it here first. There's a cat. <laughs> India is going to win guys India is going to win the world cup India is going to win Although the world cup they lose the semis to England and <laughs> <laughs> with that when India wins these global tournaments it is after doing all the hard hard work right they'll beat all the big teams before they win it the fact that they've beaten australia means that they're on that path now 
right they beaten pakistan they, they beaten. 2023 world cup also so we have beat every team that came here idella logic illa yeah but they have to win the final that technical <laughs> that technicality is also there <laughs> only that uh, 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 is so you're saying whenever india win the cup it is when they win the final oh okay <laughs> okay <laughs> because earlier yeah. his logic was england lost to ireland they still won so they can still win here india beat the hard team so they can still win it's it's like some no cat like logic every team has a different route to the final da india won't do yeah. india can't lose to minno and then win and all they've never please, done that please please send your son to chops for uh, technical <laughs> clarification on how swing works you would have given some random i am myself and swing swing so much no this is good enough <laughs> okay so are we all saying india are going to win chops are you also saying india will win yeah i am okay brilliant <laughs> bro beat him into agreeing okay <laughs> yeah. okay <laughs> bro bot se bro beat ra bro beat bro beat okay ha to mohammed siraj will hit the winning runs uh, next saturday and chops will be cheering from the sidelines all right uh. that sums up this wonderful comprehensive review of uh, the semi final lineups <laughs> that was recorded What's before the What? that was rec- that was recorded before the semi final lineups have been finalized so in case australia make the semi final please ignore the parts of the podcast where we assumed afghanistan did <laughs> and in case afghanistan make the semi finals please ignore please, the parts please feel free to ignore the other parts also anyway <laughs> just for your sanity uh, so it's bye bye from murli tony and chops and myself nitin say bye guys bye <laughs> bye <laughs> <laughs>
what a <laughs> shit team like they could themselves have made it to the semis if they won yeah. in 12 overs right i mean yeah. it, uh, at the end they didn't end up winning but uh, basically they didn't even try man what was going on like their only intent was to like i said put cockroach yeah. in neighbor's porridge that was literally what they were trying to do like yeah. imagine the scenes of bangladesh had won like we wouldn't even have recorded yeah. this <laughs> no it would be nice uh, to be honest if they chased this down in 13 overs and uh, gone through it would have been totally well deserved right yeah. it would have been an interesting story in itself yeah. but like you said they went for it for a couple of overs maybe and after they lost their first wicket it was very yeah. clear they were not trying and especially after that rain break i think they just gave yeah. up and they were just playing for the normal win which is so pointless right like why would you play Correct. for a normal win you you've never been in an icc semi final you have a very rare opportunity here to do something yeah. special like hum nahi jeetenge hamari marzi the bangladesh doing it maybe they you know they were trying to find some uh, you know happiness in seeing afghanistan not going through but what really struck me was ian smith right and new zealand trying their best to come up with ways to say that, you know afghanistan should not win like it is like extreme level of pitiapa that you know ian smith was doing on commentary along with atar ali like atar ali and ian smith together like a deadly combo right not want to hear them and these guys were literally burning you know when when gulbadin did that act right ian smith didn't stop ranting for the next god knows how many hours and he kept on get yeah so um, even in in between atar ali stopped ranting but ian smith didn't that's when yeah smith is like you know no, this actually, is not done he he was having problems with rashid standing next to you know dwen bravo and taking Trump. instructions mm-hmm. like what is he doing in the outfield why isn't he in, inside and all of that random shit <laughs> well, it was so very evident that bangladesh obviously yeah. they didn't want to win i'm going to win jeetna but uh, uh you know new zealand was like boss tumne mere ko itna ganda haraya i will not also not let you go through No, surely New Zealand would have had vested interest in Australia getting dumped yeah, also, no? Like correct. all kinds yeah, of neighboring. Yeah. I uh, so and I Afghanistan one... winning so that they can say we lost to the eventual champions. All this uh, <laughs> rationalization we've <laughs> put is still there. When name. Ganguly was captain, Iman Pandey, do you remember this great <laughs> glorious thing? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so Bangladesh famously not throwing anything into the match. On the other side, Afghanistan not just throwing in the kitchen sink, but when Rashid Khan came out to bat and they were in a precarious situation. <laughs> He wanted it too, and his uh, non-striker refused, and he threw the bat at him. Man, I've never seen this. I mean, I've seen this, but Kiran not Kiran Pollard at... who threw yeah. the bat at uh, the opponent, not throwing the bat at your own teammate. I think yeah. once Marlon Samuels and uh, Shane Warne also Shane got Moore, into some yeah. bat throwing behavior. Yeah, but uh, I mean, Rashid was understandably livid there because he could easily have got back on strike. <laughs> there was no business. Uh, not yeah. taking two there, and he later and hit legend, another massive six with a six. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Rashid Khan has been elite in this World Cup, as I've been yeah. trying to tell you since last night, Tony. Now we are <laughs> becoming aware of it as well. What a spell! The, the, the levels of awareness between Bangladesh and Afghanistan, right? So, like we said, Bangladesh unclear what they are trying to accomplish. All they care about is petty bilateral one-up manship with their subcontinental neighbors, or you know, yeah. Uh, why are they even picking up? I, I'm sure now, just like with Sri Lanka, they'll pick up a new rivalry with Afghanistan yeah. as well and start, like we said, you know, celebrating, holding yeah. their hamstring when they win some meaningless. Said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Srina Tripod said, "Bangladesh will celebrate by holding their hammy at the end of some pointless bilateral series." <laughs> Gramming, <laughs> Gramming Bank presents <laughs> Ruhafsa <laughs> Kid Play and Kid Call Cup, <laughs> powered by Cycle Agarwal, uh, something of that sort. But seriously, and meanwhile, you have Afghanistan who repeatedly keep playing to their strengths. Right, their openers don't take too many risks because they know their lower order is not the strongest. They try and get some runs on the board. They back their bowlers to defend it. They keep doing it again and again. They know what the Duckworth Lewis par score is. Bangladesh or the other are giving away wickets just when just when the rain is coming. They are giving away wickets twice in the game. They went behind on Duckworth Lewis by giving away wickets at the wrong time, which is like schoolboy <laughs> stuff, right? Like you Hello. should not be. Do- Sunil Gavaskar, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> uh, so Infant let's talk time. about yeah. the moment of the World Cup, or yeah. uh, as as we like to call it, <laughs> the clutch player of the World Cup, <laughs> <laughs> Gulbadi Naib, who, as Bissi said, has. Huge biceps because clearly he skipped leg day. Right? <laughs> <laughs> This was also, at eighty one for seven when the rain yeah. was falling, and Jonathan Trott from the sideline is like, "Slow it down, slow it down." Gulbadin Naib at first slip to a spinner, just <laughs> clutches his hammy. 
<laughs> and falls down on his face. Yeah. I think the Euro Cup great is going moment. on, but you won't find a better. Yeah, it's a great moment. It's this has been a World Cup full of wonderful moments, like Akshar Patel's catch yesterday, for instance. <laughs> you know, lots of great moments of action, but nothing is going to beat this moment of Gulbadin Naip going down just as the rain comes down, and then his teammates helping him to limp off. The physio came on. <laughs> Navi Nul Huck. Navi Nul Huck is not able to hide his laughter. <laughs> he has his arm on you know, his shoulder. I, I found but, I found this part even more funnier, which is when after the rain, when these guys were coming back onto the field. So Gulbadin obviously couldn't just come back into the field, right? Because he yeah, had both of his <laughs> But now he's alone. So he is he is walking in after the first over, slowly holding his clutch. <laughs> I'm like, boss, we should be acting karna pad raha hai. Detailed acting karna pad raha hai. Usko bhai vichara hai. Dheere, dheere clutch release karna pade ga. Nahi toh gaadi nahi chale ga. Manual but, transmission. <laughs> but this is, there is obviously history to this, right? So uh, I think last year in the Asia Cup, we remember Afghanistan were uh, in a net run rate situation and they were not aware of what they had to do. Yeah. Rashid Khan was batting and Rashid Khan ended up defending balls, which if he had hit for six, they would have qualified to the next stage. Uh, from that stand, we all made fun of Afghanistan for not being aware of the game at that time. Um, th- today, on the other hand, um, firstly, Gulbadin Naib was like their uh, star bowler from the previous game. He took four wickets against Australia. He did not come on to bowl. At that moment, when he clutched his uh, hamstring, he still hadn't bowled a single over. <laughs> right? yeah. It was almost like he had to get an injury in order to uh, get into yeah. his bowling form because he later came and bowled. And I think he even got a wicket also. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think he got wickets also. Yeah. <laughs> but um, also the awareness, right? Uh, we said Jonathan yes. Trott, like, let's go back 10 years. Why did uh, why did Gulpati <laughs> Shrim clutch, uh, uh, clutch his hamstring and fall down? Because Trott told him, get ready for a broken fucking hamstring. Oh my god. Yeah. Who would uh, have thought 10 years back that uh, Jonathan Trott will be an international coach and that two of this team and a very successful coach. Like, he's, he's literally been at the center of this resurgence yep. of the Afghanistan. Yep. It's not even resurgence. They've been on a steady upswing. Yep. But uh, it's just incredible to see what Afghanistan have pulled off in this World Cup. Even the acting bits. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm I seriously like I really, really want Afghanistan to win this World Cup now. <laughs> I, I don't know whether South Africa will be happy or sad that uh, they're not going to face Australia now in the semi final because this is now again out of syllabus for them. Like running into <laughs> Afghanistan <laughs> in a knockout losing. game. They're definitely losing. Yeah, three yeah. spinners South yeah. Africa other than class and no one else can play any form of spin. Yeah. And uh yeah. if uh, the watering prospect is in QDK can't handle him. So you basically yeah. don't have, like yeah. South Africa does not have, other than Klaasen, they don't have any other player to handle Bangladesh, uh, sorry, uh, Afghanistan bowlers. Where is that match going to happen? Is it a high scoring venue? <laughs> Somewhere in the West Indies. <laughs> <laughs> wherever yeah. plane is able to take off to. <laughs> Rally around the West Indies. <laughs> Land wherever you can and play. But if, uh, if the conditions are similar to what they have been in these last two games for Afghanistan yeah. and they bat first, they are actually a very, very difficult team to beat. Right. If they get 125 yeah. on the board, they are the bowling to defend 125 in these conditions. So, South Africa yeah. will hope to bat And first. they have the batting only to make 125, right? Like, that's <laughs> yeah. it. And they're very clear. They don't want to collapse for 80 and all. They're like, we'll yeah. quietly get to 125. That is enough. Yeah. We'll then do yeah. whatever we can. What a what a World Cup, man. I know we spoke about this yesterday, but this World Cup has just been getting better and better. It can only end yeah. in anticlimax now. There have to be, Correct. I think, two washouts and a useless final is the only way this can now <laughs> end. Like, the, it has we been know the upping ending, the though. game. Rohit Sharma lifting trophy in Barbados. <laughs> this uh, Jay Shah's cat has already... Jay Shah's cat with nine lives. Absolutely. Iman, any closing thoughts? Who's going to win the World Cup, Iman? Afghanistan. I, yes, Afghanistan. Yes. I really want them to win. Like, I, I I want an India versus Afghanistan finals with uh, Afghanistan winning it and having we having a very close match. As Indian fans, we should definitely be rooting for Afghanistan to win it this time. There's nothing I fully agree. Better as an as an outcome than Afghanistan winning the World Cup. Absolutely. Iman. Yeah. I wanted to ask one important thing of you. Yes. They are saying that uh, Afghanistan can beat every team. But not India because IPL contracts. Is bare me apka kya soch hai? Please, kuch detail me bataye. It is, it is obviously a, a legit thing, which is Afghanistan holding India to very high regard and not really, you know, you wouldn't see any Afghanistan player doing extra, you know, aggression to any Indian Correct. player. 
for many reasons yeah you could call it ipl you could call it relationship <laughs> except navin and kohli navin and kohli <laughs> in the ipl navinul <laughs> came and took panga with the biggest indian player and you're saying this dude i don't no, like that is in ipl you will never see an afghan team versus the indian team doing it in ipl yes mm. yeah that too by the Tasty way navinul hawk you know going kya bowler hai against kohli there is obviously a, a gg angle to that yeah Obviously, you know what they say no nothing succeeds like eating a mango because you have to suck the seed to <laughs> so there I is obviously so. gg angle to navinul hawk picking a fight against kohli in the ipl yeah. keeping that aside i generally think afghan players and indian players they have you know good respect for each other yeah there is obviously yeah. you know uh, they have to i mean dharamshala is their home ground or something no noida uh, we are also giving them another noida Noida, Noida. <laughs> Not Dharamshala. Noida. The Noida okay. stadium is their home ground. They play the games there. Yeah. Yeah. But I genuinely think that uh, if India and Afghanistan are playing the finals, BCCI will win. Uh, you know, will gain more if Afghanistan wins the World Cup rather than yeah. India winning yeah. the World Cup. So all yeah. of that is there. So if if it is helping, amazing. Uh, Afghanistan grow. Already so conspiracy theory has been put. You yes. know, if Afghanistan are going to win this World Cup, I would rather they beat England in the final. because that will oh, be a nicer amazing. afghan story it will be that a nicer be story amazing. for all of us we'll all be happy Correct. we'll be very happy at the end of it yeah, so india, let's hope uh, india <laughs> plays south africa in the final and india win otherwise <laughs> let it be england versus afghanistan instead <laughs> yeah. we can't lose to england in semi final wo to bahut painful ho jayega yeah we have <laughs> not any more <laughs> yeah ho gaya england ko to jita diya do teen baari kitni baar jitega ho gaya na unko theek acha wo bhi sahi hai Ah. All right. Ha- no, think... no. Before we go, it, it would be remiss on our part if we don't pay our tributes to Hank, who was the only person <laughs> to correctly say that Afghanistan will. Uh, he actually said Afghanistan will win the World Cup, or did he say they will play West Indies? He said in Afghanistan win this final. Yeah. Yes. But he was the one who has always been backing Afghanistan. So Hank, great yeah, call. Yeah, and he is also the only one who listens to the pod. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you <will laughs> check it. Hey, you did not give me credit for my prediction. <laughs> Here you go, hack. Take it and go. Okay, right. that okay, finally guys. brings us to the final end of episode 129. No more rain interruptions and no more comebacks. We will see you straight after the final when it ends. Yeah. Bye. 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 TV Empire to director. We have a player review. Can we rock and roll, please?